Uh, my name is Derek Richards and I'm uh, a Director of Business Development here at PCI. Uh, typically when we're assessing a, a potential new project, um, there are th really three general questions that I want to ask first and foremost uh, out of the gate. Number one is, of course, is what is the project? What is the scope? Do we have the, the technical uh, uh, capabilities to assist uh, the, the potential customer? Number two is the timelines. What are their timelines? Um, we, we field uh, many uh, inquiries from uh, an array of, 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 of companies from virtual uh, to mid-size farm and really everything in between. So they each have their own um, um, priorities in terms of timelines. Maybe they're waiting for a tranche of, uh, of funding that will be uh, delivered upon completion of a, a, a GMP material maybe they needed to start a phase one trial. So it's really important to know what their timelines are and if we can meet those timelines. And then number three is the budget. What do they have planned for uh, a budget? Uh, really what this does is, is help identify if there's a disconnect between potentially what the customer thinks the project, uh, overall project cost will be and, and what the reality is, right? So we want to ensure that we're on the, on the same page there, right? At least in the, in the, same, uh, in the same book. Uh, before moving forward. Following which I really want to dig in a little bit deeper and find out what their regulatory strategy is. That is important because the regulatory strategy will then dictate um, uh, what the scope of the analytical portion of, of the project would be and that's really critical because uh, it, it, that really can make or break a, um, uh, uh, a project.